Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of DE News Roundup. This is Senior Editor Kenneth Wong, glad to have you with us. If you have ever attempted to view or edit a large complex scene in ray trace mode, you'd probably realize you can't expect real-time response and instant updates whenever you shift the scene or move the characters. But Chaos Group has just previewed a technology that it says can make that happen. This is called Project Lavina, a technology that takes advantage of the dedicated ray tracing silicon in NVIDIA's GPUs. You might say, sure, this is possible if you throw a few dozen GPUs and run the software on a server-class hardware, except this doesn't seem to be the case here. According to Chaos Group, this is Project Lavina running on a dual NVIDIA RTX 8000 GPUs. This software is meant to run on desktop workstation environments. It includes collision detection, so solid objects behave like solid things that you cannot walk through, and material swapping that allows you to swap materials and see updates immediately. The demo you're looking at features scenes from Construct, a new sci-fi short film. The company plans to make Lavina run using system memory in addition to the GPU memory. This will help you load scenes that are too big to fit in the GPU memory alone. It's written in DXR or DirectX Ray Tracing, part of Microsoft DirectX technology. Typically, when you shift scenes or move objects, you might see noises or unsettled pixels that take a while to resolve, but not so with Lavina, because Chaos Real-Time Denoiser is working behind the scene, the company explains. Now, when will Lavina be available? A year ago, when Chaos first announced it, it said, we're not sure when it will be production ready. And as you know, our bar for that is always set very high. Now, the company is accepting sign up for beta testers. So, instant ray tracing is coming to a workstation near you soon. SimScale, the cloud-hosted simulation software vendor, has just released a radiation calculator. This lets you analyze thermal comfort, whether it's too hot, too cold, or not enough heat, in building interiors. It uses HVAC, or the heating and ventilation model, to calculate heat transfer and distribution within the enclosed geometry of a building or a room. This is standard analysis for AEC, Architecture, Engineering and Construction Industry. It uses CFD solvers, the same model used to calculate airflow around moving vehicles and planes, for example. SimScale is one of the vendors in the emerging web-based simulation sector. Another vendor in the same space is Simulation Hub, offering app-style simulation modules for a subscription fee. Their SAAS, or Software as a Service model, challenges the established simulation market that sells software that runs on workstations and servers. It also promises to make simulation much more accessible, both in ease of use and hardware costs, to a much wider audience. More on the cloud-hosted software front. Onshape, which provides cloud-hosted parametric CAD software, has recently been named a technology pioneer by the World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum is a private-public non-profit headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, which holds annual summits to address topics ranging from climate change to trade war. The list of technology pioneers named by the organization includes Airbnb, Google, Spotify, and Wikimedia, among others. Onshape is recognized as an innovative company in the production sector. It's a company led by a group of former SOLIDWORKS executives and developers. Many of them played an important role in bringing computer-aided design or CAD to the Windows desktop. In their new roles at Onshape, they spearheaded running CAD from a browser, something established CAD vendors once claimed was impractical but are now aggressively pursuing themselves. Well, that is all the news for this episode. For more news on design and engineering, go to Digital Engineering 24-7. That's digitalengineering247.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel called DE Streaming for more episodes like this. I'm Kenneth Wong for DE, signing off.